Five, four, three, two. Yeah, you know what it is. It's your boy, Guess Who. You now tapped in the Street Nerds Radio, the number one station in the streets. We got a special guest in a fucking building. What's up, bro? Introduce yourself. Man, what's good with it, man? I'm bankroll halfback. Man, what's popping, bro? So, look, check this out, man. I'm, I'm excited that we got you in here because we're yeah. going to talk about some shit. Okay. Um, before we get to the spicy shit, um, let's give people a, a rundown. Where you from? Shit, man. I born and raised different Colorado, bro. Where, where, where in the town? Where in the town are you? Where you raised, though? I mean, you know what I'm saying. Like it's half my life, my early life. I was on the east side, for like 38th and High. I be mean, 38th and Madison. My boss stayed on like 32nd and High up until I was about like 13. Then I moved today. You know what I'm saying? But so, know? where do you say you from? Well, I say I'm from the east side. I'm from Denver. Okay. And so that's where you say you got your influence from. How was it growing up for you though? Oh shit, man. It was it was fucked up. For sure. What like, you mean it was fucked up? <coughs> shit, nigga ain't have shit. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? <coughs> nigga had a grandma that was trying to do everything, you know what I'm saying? To raise a nigga. She wanted it to uh be raised the right way, but uh shit, we was outside. Back then, you know, that's what it was. It was it was cool to do. It was normal. So when would you say? When would you say that you uh you made the decision to jump off the porch? Shit, bro. I, I feel like I was born off the porch. <laughs> so it wasn't a. It, so you would say it was a, it was something that you had to do. It wasn't something like it was a choice. It was something like that was mandatory. Yeah, like it just it just came like naturally. Like like you got some people that's raised off love, and some people yeah. that's raised off survival. I wasn't raised off love. And so, at what at what point did you start taking doing music? Shit, uh, probably when I was like what 15, 16? Where I start recording. I've been writing music since like since I was about like nine, ten. Would you say? Well, like raps, you know what I'm saying? Not would like, you say that was your outlet for, from there? So. Being off the porch in the streets, do you feel like that was a way for you to out like an outlet to express yourself? Back then, nah, it's more of a hobby. Just fun, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, it was fun when I was young. Cause I, I, I just cause you could do it, you was like fuck it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. my uh, my cousin, you know what I'm saying. He ain't here no more, but when I was younger, he used to make me rap and just write. Or he'll. Uh, this is back when like. Shit, before mixtapes, I, I think, was even popping when niggas was getting on other niggas' songs. He'll pick a nigga's song and be like, write a rap to this. But back then, it wasn't an instrumental. It was a nigga rap. So I got to write over this nigga rapping at the same time. Did you think that made you, it made you harder? Because now you feel like you compete with that other person that was on the song? I would say harder. Probably, like, more competitive. So where you from, though? What neighborhood is you from? Well, like I said, I'm from the east side, but I'm not no crib. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? <coughs> I'm a GD. <coughs> How does that work? How does that work? Yeah. Shit, man, when I was younger, man, I just, I happened to link up with some motherfuckers from Chicago, and I had, well, originally the two people that I met was from Alabama, you know, and they were GDs. And before, I, like, to make that decision, you know, I was always around Crips. Mm -hmm. But I got family that's bloods, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was just in, in the middle. But so I, then politics, you just was like, I just can't really get down because I have family up from both sides. No, nah, I just... Oh, no, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, that's probably the best way to put it. Hell, yeah. So, so... Have you ever been to the pen? Mm-hmm. Three times. Three times? Yeah. I ain't never been to the pen. Yeah. I'll say that to everybody who I bring up here and who talk about it because I ask questions of like, how'd that change you as a man from like, you start you start writing raps at nine, you start doing your first song at 15. Uh -huh. At what age do you go to the pen? Shit. I caught my case, I want to say it was like 2012. Late 2012, early 13, but at 21 is when I, like, 
decided, like 2021, when I was like, yeah, I want to rap, for sure. So around when I was 20, 21. And then you go straight to prison? No, I didn't go straight to prison, but I, you know, I caught a, I caught a case, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> shit, you know, I was going back and forth. I was, what was that experience like? I mean, I was... At, at, at a youth, pretty much, still at a youth. I mean, like, like for me... Being locked up, it wasn't like a new feeling because I've been going to jail since I was like 15. You know, I caught my first dope case when I was 15. Mm -hmm. So, like, I done spent so many birthdays in jail, being locked up, can't go nowhere that I, I knew what it was like, but it was always a different experience because it was like levels to it, you know, going from juvenile to county to prison. So would you say that that shit re rehabilit Does it rehabilitate people? It can, some people. Some people it can. I mean, did it rehabilitate me? I wouldn't say prison did. I had real life situations that that humbled you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. While I was out, just the jail part, it just made me value my freedom more. Like nigga, shit, cause that shit suck. So, what would you tell your 15 year old self? You know, just made your first song. What wisdom would you give your younger self right now? Don't worry about what none of these niggas is talking about. Worry about getting your shit to a point where niggas can't even see it. You know, make your shit sound as unique as possible. You know, shit. You just have you know do your thing with it. So when did you take music serious? Around like 2011, 2012, when I was 20 or 21, yeah. Right before I caught my shit. So, I, like, I caught my shit. I was in the county fighting my shit for a little bit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then I caught my number. Went to the halfway house. Did that whole little process, you know. So I wasn't really able to do shit at that time. I've done shit, but I was risking my freedom trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was in the halfway house shooting videos back in 2015. And that you could that you could violate because of that Hell shooting yeah. music video? out of location, nigga. I'm telling the motherfucker I'm supposed to be somewhere. I'm not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I got I caught like out of that. location. That's how I went. Oh, back. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's some shit. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. do you think it's hard to separate the music from the streets? Yes. Why? Wait, is it hard to separate them? Yeah, from the and the reason why I ask that question is because there's. I there's mean, I don't know. I don't know. I think back then, maybe, 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 right now, maybe not. Because I, there's an interview Bootsy did where he said, you know, you can't be a rapper in the street, nigga. You can't be man because everybody going to jail. I believe that though. <laughs> rappers, it I seems like though. rappers okay. going to jail at a high rate right now. Right we talking now, about yeah. for big shit. They not letting niggas out either. Shooting murders, your but favorite that's rappers. That's because that's because now niggas is bringing the streets to the music. It's more than just niggas rapping about whipping shit, shooting. They niggas trying to really live that niggas life. Niggas is naming niggas. You know what I'm saying. A nigga would be like, nigga, shit, my nigga did this. He took me over here, nigga. I done. You, you, dissing, you dissing people in your music? Nah, I don't do that. I don't diss niggas. I don't do that. How you feel about our rappers dissing dead niggas? That's just like talking about a dead nigga. What's the point of doing that when a nigga ain't here? You gonna wait? But, I mean, shit, at the same time, it just depends on the circumstance or whatever. For whoever they dissing, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I don't I don't knock motherfuckers for what they do, you know. Motherfuckers gonna diss them. Shit, nigga, that's him. So how would you describe your music? Shit. Different, for sure. I just I just describe it as different. Cause it's not gonna come off as how everybody think it is. Like right now, how the music sounds, motherfuckers is expecting to hear a sound. A certain sound right now, you know. And what 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 are they expecting? Shit, they. I mean, right now, like right now, I feel like shit is like on a Detroit, you know, type of wave right now. 
Yeah, Detroit Opposed, slap. Opposed, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they going. They slapping right now. They slapping. But yeah, I don't know. What do you, so? I think a better question I should ask is, what do you do think that the sound of the town is? Nor do we have a sound. I don't. I don't. I don't really. I can't say we got a locked in sound right now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so much different type of music coming out. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different type of music, but it's still so many different people, you know what I'm saying, making music. So it's like, it's hard to say what type of sound we got. And then we right in the middle. You know what I'm saying? It's like we get everything last. So it's like. So what song would you say out of your catalog if if I was like I just need the song that's going best tell me who you are as a as a musician uh what song would that be uh shit probably never been a type mm-hmm. that would be the one you'd be like look you want to know who I am this is going to yeah. be the song I mean I I believe it would you know what I'm saying but I got so many other songs that what sets you apart? There's a million fucking rappers. <laughs> what sets me apart? What sets you apart from anybody else? Cuz that's what it seems like it, it breaking the industry. Is I mean, I like like me, I'm not I'm not trying to be nobody but who I am, you know what I'm saying? Like like I'm not the type of nigga that I, be having pistols all in my video. You know what I'm saying? If 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 a nigga with me and my shit and he got the shit, I'm not gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? Shit. My younger days I probably would have did it, but now I'm not that, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, I guess I don't know. Shit. Like I'm I'm not I'm like I'm not really social, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. So when I'm in my video shoots, I get in a zone where I, nobody's there but me. You know, even if I'm aware of people there, I, I'm just by myself. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm by myself, I'm in a whole different zone. Like, like when you by yourself, you already got a different type of confidence. You know what I'm Fuck saying? Fuck yeah! Like you can you can imagine a whole crowd in front of you, and you could perform there, and you'll feel like. Whatever, how you feeling, you know what I'm saying? So that's just how I look at it. What's your 2022 look like? My 2022? Shit, man, to be honest with you, I don't know, man. I can't even think that far right now. You just living in the moment? I'm I'm living right now because tomorrow ain't promised. Fuck yeah. Do you feel like, do you feel like the city's overlooked? It's underlooked, for sure. It ain't over. It ain't overlooked. That shit underlooked. Motherfuckers know about Colorado. Niggas talk about it in their music. They come out here. Motherfuckers smoke that gas. Like, I done been to a lot of states. You know what I'm saying? I done been to Texas. When I say I'm from Denver, I'm from Colorado. I ain't even got to say Colorado. I say I'm from Denver. Niggas about you from Colorado? Yeah, I got that gas out there. Period. So, Everywhere niggas I know go. about it. You know what I'm saying? They just not... Hip to the music side. They know about Colorado. They just not really hip to the music side. Nobody. I, I feel like. Well, I ain't gonna say nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because you got Trev Rich. He done did some shit. You know what I'm saying? Some big things. Grammy nominated. You know. Shout out Trev. Uh, you know. It just. It's like. Nobody's really. I don't know. I feel like the only one that came out here and checked for artists was Sauce Walker. Did you? Did did you? I think Sauce Walker came and showed niggas how to get money doing he, music. He did. You know what I'm saying? He did something. You know what I'm saying? He came he's a different type of up. motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He's a different type of motherfucker. But you know, I've been, I've been, I've been on Sauce Walker since like 2015 type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first found that nigga, that nigga. How'd you find out about that nigga? First time hearing his music. This nigga, my brother. He what put you on the sauce? Shit. I don't know. 
my, my partner in Texas and shit, that nigga, um, that nigga told me some shit like, nigga, these two brothers are coming out of Texas and shit. I'm like, okay, nigga shot me a little video and shit. What's that, that first shit they got? I got it all up to splash. Mm-hmm. When I heard that shit, I said, these niggas is different. Put a little bro on them niggas, niggas been going crazy every single Hey, cause them, them niggas, them niggas getting to it. I don't nah, give a fuck if nobody said They sauce, pulled up. That nigga sauce? Listen, I fuck with sauce, you know Like, when that nigga came out here, and I got to, you know what I'm saying, mingle with him, you know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't I didn't do a song with him. I did a song with Vucci P, but Sauce Walker in the video and shit, whatever. That nigga is a different motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's not too many artists that then came out here and was on that, like, what's up? What's niggas on? If you got clothing lines, where you at? If you rapping, pull up to the studio, we recording. We knocking out verses, nigga. If you got the gas, pull up, nigga. If you got food, pull up. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't doing that. Nah, nigga. And ain't this doing nigga is, you know, like a lot of niggas try to make it about money or success. That nigga Sauce Walker got M's. I don't even think niggas understand. So but what would you consider making it? What would I consider making it? Yeah, for you. What your what what would you for you yourself? As far as music, feel like you made it. Shit, man, knowing my family set. You know what I'm saying? Knowing everything is right in place. Like, like you can get a song popping. Say you get a song popping, that motherfucker go go. Whether it take a year or 10 years or go platinum, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say that's making it, you know. That's more of an accomplishment than making it. Making it is, nigga, you made it. Like, nigga, where I'm at right now, nigga, ain't nothing stopping it. Ain't nothing going to take me down, nigga. I'm up. Like, if you ask that nigga money bag what's making it, he probably going to like, shit, nigga, look at me. I made it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, you know who I am, nigga. They know who I am, whatever. My kids good, nigga, whatever, generational wealth. So what can we expect from you, music-wise, in the future? Man, right now I'm just I'm just working, you know, recording a lot of music. I dropped a few videos since I've been able to, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't had a lot of shit going on, but you know, since I didn't drop the video, I didn't since I didn't dropped. <clears throat> yeah, I got some shit coming. Hell yeah! You got any projects? I'm about to drop a project actually. And what's the name of that? Splash Language. And when is that dropping? I don't really got a date, you know what I'm saying? But you working on it? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's really done, because I got a lot of music. A lot. Like, I, I've been stacking music since forever. But <laughs> I got, you know, new shit that I've been working with, the shit that I got, so. And when can we expect the next drop? Shit, man, sometime next month. Next sure. month? For sure. Okay. Next month. For sure. So, before we wrap it up, who who, who is Bankroll Hefe? Shit. Looking at him. Whoever looking, they looking at him too. Bankroll Hefe is... Shit, nigga. I'm that nigga that's always going to try to go get that money. For real, nigga. I'm going to find a way. Any type of way. I ain't gonna. I'm just gonna get it. Go I'm, get it by I'm, any I'm means. I'm a motherfucker that's gonna get it. You see me, you can play that nigga. I don't know how he does it, but he gets it. Fuck yeah. So, where can everybody find you at? Shit, YouTube, Apple Music, shit, you know, everywhere. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, my Instagram, Bankroll Six Times. Uh, my Twitter. I don't really know my Twitter. I don't really fuck with my Twitter like that. You know what I'm saying? But you'll, you'll be able to find it off my Instagram. But, you know, follow me on Instagram, bankroll six times. And where do they get uh, them features from? They hit your inbox if they want to get them features? I mean, shit, yeah. They hit the inbox, you know what I'm saying? If they see me out in public. You got any shows coming up? Nah, I ain't got no shows coming up right now. Do you plan on doing any soon? Shit, yeah. I'm open to it for sure. Fuck yeah. But I, I mean, you know, 
What's it gonna take? He's like, see, look, he, he about to pull the rapper on me. What's it gonna take? What's the bag? <laughs> What's the bag like to book you for a show? I mean, shit. I'm not about to come out for a couple hundred, so. Yeah, I know that's right. You know. That's what I like about this new era of rappers that we have in the city. These niggas get money. You gotta give me hit, hit me. I for mean, the shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about the money, like nigga shit. For whatever I'm doing it for, they need it more than I'm doing it. So, but I'm the only one trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? And well, I ain't gonna say the only one. You know what I'm saying? But I'm one of the ones that's trying to do it. So. I gotta work extra hard. Period. So when you drop your next project, I need you to come back up here so we can shoot the shit again. Yeah, for sure. We make that happen. Yeah, for sure. Man. For I'm sure. For sure. Whatever. Hell yeah! Well, well I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you for coming up here. I I need to be on your email list. So whenever you got that music, send it to me so we can get it blasted out. You get what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Uh, one for doing what you're doing. The yeah. music that you putting out uh, and the focus that you got to have for it. And I enjoy the fact that a lot of the niggas are growing up who didn't have been through situations and get to the music and they get to this rapping. Yeah. And I feel like uh, we take our music anywhere else, we going to win. I didn't been to a lot of motherfucking places. I already know it, man. Like, you know what <laughs> I'm saying? I hear it. Places. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I hear it. I definitely hear it. You know what I'm saying? It's there. It just... It got to be more organized, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is too spread out. It's like a popularity contest. Motherfuckers is like, who's popping over here? Who's popping over there? Motherfuckers that go f from where they at to there. You know, it's like everybody can, you know, do the same thing. We all doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? We could all get to the top for real. Colorado definitely should be up there. Fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Because motherfuckers can come out here and have fun. It's just motherfuckers got to have better presentation of their state. Or motherfuckers that never been here and they be like, what's it like out there? You know? Motherfuckers yeah. don't explain it right. Niggas be like, shit, there ain't nothing to do out here at all. It's boring. No, it's not, nigga. It's not. It's come not find boring, out. You know what I'm saying? Just come out here. You know what I'm saying? Just come you find out. If you smoke, nigga, you're going to smoke the best. You're going to smoke the best here. You're going to smoke the best, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And it's it's definitely beautiful women out here. For sure. For sure. Man, well, women. I appreciate you for coming up here. Like I said, when you drop out, after you drop your project, we're going to come up here and talk about the project. Yeah. Talk about how you feel about that motherfucker. And I appreciate everybody who's tapped in, Street Nerds Radio, the number one station in the streets.